And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some Atomic Heart today. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe button. Let's get into it. Sounds interesting. Oh, what mode to play? Do we play in peaceful? Yeah, let's play in this one. Screw it. I hear good reviews about this. And yes, I am playing this on PC. This should be interesting. Everyone else is playing, like, playing on like. PS4 and stuff, and I'm like, hmm. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. with your Volvas box on train. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. <laughs> Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold picky, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. The detail is amazing. been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. <laughs> I'm glad that this game has streamer mode. I would have been mad. Character models are actually pretty decent. They don't like, they don't look terrible. Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. That looks dangerous. Info 
kiosk 50. Buy a copy of the facility Herald, comrade. Thanks a lot, but I gotta go. A newspaper? What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. Lousy <sighs> prick. Gotta catch a jam to it. Got a good jam, got a good beat to it. That's a little creepy. Everyone here seems so happy and content, just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, 
polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> At alt L. I can try. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, change that. sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. So much detail. Yeah, there are some things I didn't want to see. Hey, you malfunction. This is uh. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone. And, finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to the science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The Neural Connector Thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center Report to the lobby of that hierarchy. A network for all mankind waiting for you together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots. So with glad your to mind. see you're taking it easy, Mastering Comrade Major. With the car is speed. waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. And of course, it's been left with, with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communication. That was crazy seeing that much animation going on one screen. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just. So nice. Our elevator has arrived. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible by a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, 
you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0. Wait, there yet? Our marvelous network will be on the 13th day of the month of June, 1955. Only two days away. Yeah, this is a really long Get elevator your trip up. today and become Homo Futurum among the first. The future is already yours. Maybe it's just a very long loading screen. Maybe. One can hope. Ooh, pretty. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here's your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? So you made me come all the way up here just to go all the way back down. Okay, I found my crouch button. Can I jump over this? Alrighty. off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Robot's like, look at all this damn glitter. Look at this mess they made. Whee! Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades just came from in every get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the Soviet Union. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? Mm -hmm. 
That's more like it. I can live with it. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Trophy's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Control. What am I supposed to do about for your it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. What the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Comrade Major, I'm falling. Nope, oh, you're on your own. Shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ow. It sounded painful. Well, that was a hell of an intro so far.
Did I take a nap for too long? I would panic if half the planet is ran by robots. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me. Alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Get me out of here! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in the... Please tell me he ain't where I think he is. Woo! Shit! Uh, get away from me! That's a terrible place to get shoved into. Ow! Uh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! <laughs> What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. 
Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit, it's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Ah, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold them off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Shit. Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! Gonna need smoke after that. Damn. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Okay, learning quickly. find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident in the Vavilov complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Just turn the handle and open the door! One shell, let's not use that. How the hell did you manage up to be up there? I don't like this. Looks pretty peaceful. All right.
so peaceful yet so yeah troubled saving data Enemies can now perform attack to knock down if hit. Press L shift to dodge. Eh. Yeah, she's... Oh! May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are... Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. So it's Shift L. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. to let you through, Comr uh, Granny Zena. Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not. Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later, and somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Stop. Give me. 
Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Koltsov some tea. I'll be with you in a sec, okay? Going key down there, what? So we gotta check that from out. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time during which many more people will die, and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. That was a fun puzzle. I really want those. Alright, before we go too far, let's go save. It's always terrifying when you see shit like that. Thank you.
Show me what you got. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. But I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the cockpit. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Terrible way to go. There's a shower in with your toilet. What the hell? Okay, I was just curious. My dearest B, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. Damn it, why is everything locked here? The emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EM... Something's wrong. Oh shit! Anytime a piece of heavy Come on, get falls up, soldier. Like <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! No! Aren't you pretty? Holy shit! Avoid the beam! shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. Ah, uh, boy, what's this? I don't like this.
Oh, that's gonna hurt. Try this again. I thought he was gonna shock me. Really? Genetic analysis results are considered unofficial and cannot be presented as a valid document. 10% of papers require a follow-up analysis a week later. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> A lullaby? I don't like this. Reminds Charles, me of Gears what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Sensor manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? Kinky. More skills will become available to you soon. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier. But I'm I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. 
I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. I'm just messing around with stuff at the moment. Don't mind me. Recipe, yeah. Recipe required, huh? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Sounds like something we probably should get now. As a, another parasol to the chamber. Okay, good to know. Um, check this out one more time. I want to look at. Okay, so we definitely need the ammo for this. Guess we're out of stuff we can do here. Go ahead and do another save. Saving data. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. What's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOVA6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want, just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't be up here yet. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. I know I'm supposed to be going downstairs, but I'm trying to get extra stuff. Access the circuit breaker now. Yep, but I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move.
Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. Monday begins on Saturday, but I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th, and our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. How much time and effort is it going to take to fix this damn place? I agree. It's a troubling sight. Regardless, robots will be able to repair the damage quite quickly. I seriously doubt the folks here are going to want anything to do with robots after this. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. I just want to check what the other door goes to before I get over there. That leaves up. <coughs> This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to... Decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was going to stand here until it turns off on its own. Positive, positive, minus, minus. So basically I got to turn this into the top. Bottom is blue. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Which one? 
I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. L ship when jumping. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Oh. Ow. <laughs> That was not helpful. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to bind some buttons so that I can do like uh, jumping without needing to use a bolt. For ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Trying to figure out how to jump from this here. I'm trying to see if I can set bind keys or not. All right, let's see. does not look like I can bind keys. That would be nice if I could, but it does not look like I can. Custom binds, yes, please. All right. Forward, back. Okay, so I need to uh, shift L, I think it was. Let's take a look at the shift L. That's handbrake. Wow, we get to drive a car at some point. That's cool to do. Okay, so I'm just going to figure out how to rebind it to something more useful. Uh, is Z or X being used? Z or X being used? Z is being used. Consumable. Alright, is C or V being used? V is being used for shock for some reason. Okay. X is being used for consumable. Do is Q being used for anything? Ability, okay. E is for your ability. What is R being used for? R is used for reboots. So what's T? If is T available? Because that's actually pretty useful. I'm gonna find this. see Y being used on here, so we're going to rebind key that to Y. Oops. Alright, that should work. Yes. Okay, 10 
eventually die here, so we can figure out where the hell we're going next. I think we're jumping down. I thought I had to jump across the uh, hole in the floor there, but I think we actually have to go down, so... We'll find out here in a second, won't we? Waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. I'm gonna get up there if the elevator's already up there. shouldn't be this difficult. So it wants How to dense do there. you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. Yay, I was only trying finally. to make things easier. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. You know me, I'm curious. So many. Hey, Chaz. Charles. <laughs> yeah. So, how'd Petrov get away? There are more soldiers here than civilians. Some people believe that Petrov had help. So he's not alone. But you said all his partners were eliminated, right? Who else is there? That information is not yet available. We only have speculation, not facts. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there.
More shotgun shells. Yay! I can make the beefy now. Saving data. This looks like a good place to stop, I think. Alright. This looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. That one jump was just ridiculous. Anyways, I'll see you guys again soon. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next video.